Well, we just had a debate over whether Thor or Superman would win in a battle, so that's how things are going right now. I'm so mad. I, I walk into the band room, you see. I walk in, and as you know, I've been I have been practicing uh, oboe recently, and the cup that I've used to soak my reed the past three days, the past three sacred days, by which I have been learning this blessed instrument, surely the cup, who it is no exaggeration to say that my bond has grown closer from man to cup, oboist to cup and reed soaking, but by friends, human beings that share a specific bond. And yet I walk in to find her missing, out of duty, and I cannot assume her defection, for she is not honorable, and uh, not dishonorable, so to speak. She is, she has this dedication to this work that I have, that the oboe has, and thus, without it, I feel empty. Wait, one, I'm... two, one, two, three. Tonight is the Christmas concert for jazz band and concert band. I think the jazz band's gonna do stellar, absolutely amazing. That's all I got, brother. Jazz band, we need you in your seats, ready to go at five to seven. Out there, okay? Five to seven, okay? Concert band, concert band. We're gonna play, the jazz band's gonna play for about a half hour ish. Okay, either watch the jazz band or hang here. If you're gonna be in the cafeteria, don't be loud and obnoxious. Be good band citizens and a good audience for your fellow musicians, all right? If you chill here, be civilized, okay? Civilized means no football in the band room. Cool? <laughs> That's how, that's how, that's how we have tears, you know, football, tuba, next thing you know, you got a $4,000 bill. Yeah. So with the Woodwind Ensemble, we, uh, I just got everybody together to play Christmas music for just woodwinds. It was, went pretty well. Uh, for the limited amount of practice time, they played it like we practiced it a hundred times. So kudos goes to all of them. Yeah. They're the ones who did most of the work. I was just there flapping my arms. So all thanks goes to them. So it was pretty, pretty dang good. <laughs> I screwed around with some dilly doo wops and some some strange foreign texts known as chords. Our 
they are very ancient knowledge and like people only like Mr. Brazier you know it's like the stone masons you know so I wrote up I took those chords I wrote up a solo for the Grinch that will play in the solo section tonight and I think it's gonna go pretty good I mean other people like it I mean it, it, I I like it although then I'm sitting there internally screaming when I mess up a note but hey it's fine <laughs> For the concert tonight, I made a Shadow Puppet style video for one of our songs, Stowaway. It looks kind of good. Everyone seems to like it though, so that's really, that's good. Alright, so my dad will be reciting The Night Before Christmas at our concert today. He didn't practice at all, so it should be interesting. But I heard him ex exclaim, or he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <coughs> As Mr. Brazier would say, one down, 34 more to go in my lifetime of Christmas concerts. Um, no, but overall, I think that was a really great first Christmas concert for me, and I'm glad that I got to share that with uh, Clear Fork Band. I think everybody played really well, it was a really great concert overall, and now I'm excited to get into spring concert music. Concert went great. Could have asked for more. The concert band had a good blend, good sounds. Uh, the narration and the uh, puppet show went real great. Jazz band, 
everything was great, but the soloists in particular really, really, really rocked it tonight. So I was, I was very, very glad that we had so many wonderful soloists for the show. Yes, it is. You're gonna look silly. No, it's for green. Penny, Penny, should go backstage. Go no, Penny, backstage. I will not look silly because it's Christmas. So it's the day after the jazz band concert, and Barja pointed us out of class early to set up the banner because we can't do it in the middle of class. And we're gonna go out and play jazz band for the old folk. Uh, pretty much it. There's there's not much here. We just finished jazz band. Of course, we get free breakfast, so walking down the buffet line. Oh, biscuits. There's a lot of biscuits. I'm gonna take three. Then I took three pieces of French toast. And then, for better or for worse, I took the last water, too. <laughs> so, we, we came to see your breakfast, right? And I'm, 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 I'm kind of tired. We finished playing, we finished playing. I, I'm getting my food, and then I realized there's no biscuits. This, this trumpet, this, this particular trumpet, three biscuits gone. I didn't get a single biscuit, you know? And I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll get whatever's down the line. Yeah, no. See, I didn't get a biscuit. He also took the last water, so I'm sitting there drinkless. You know what else I didn't get? I didn't get a fork. I had to use these knives because just stabbing my sausages because I was fortunate enough to get some sausage. He took three French toast. I only got one. So that means our school has our normal dodgeball tournament. It, we are called the Trone Bones. It all started when I messed up the music box for the sheet music. I wrote Trone Bones instead of Trombones. Can't live it down. Four, two, 15, and 18. Average holds versus the trombones. Thank you. 
so I gotta give him the hugs. And it all started when they, well one, he's scared of me, as apparently a lot of people are now that I'm finding out. But, so I'm like, I give everybody hugs, everybody knows that. So, I'm not gonna leave him out, he'd feel bad, so I'm gonna give him hugs. So, he is gonna have to deal with that for the rest of his life. You hear that, Justin? The rest of your life. No, no. Oh, no. Was that that bad? Yes, it was. It was not that bad. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, Tevet six of the year 5,776. I have been searching for my cup, surely, for the last month, to no avail, unfortunately. I have searched across the entirety of the band room in a desperate attempt to find her, although a replacement must be necessary eventually. I have come to realize this despite my uh, stoicism, however. I have not been able to exactly remove my emotions from this issue. And as the holiday of Christmas comes to me, my only wish in the world is to see Shirley once more. Uh, I don't know, I was never in front of it. That's a question for Brazier, so that's all. I just found this cup around, laying around, and I was thirsty. I don't know what the big deal is, but I mean, come on, like, So the true meaning of Christmas. That's a pretty individual thing, but to me, I always think about the fact that even before the time of Christ, before Christmas was a holiday, the Western world always seemed to get together this time of year because it's so dark and gloomy and have some kind of holidays. So, at least for me, the holidays are all about family and friends, making some music and making some memories together. And I, I hope you get to do a little bit of that with your family and your loved ones this holiday.